G'day viewers, welcome to Wimble Train. I recently purchased this class 03 shunter, Graham Farish. Now this is a new model which has a DCC 6 pin socket already fitted to it. And I'm making this video because I had a slight little issue with it when I was uh, putting the DCC decoder in. So um, we'll run through that later on, what that issue was. But of course, as with all the locos, I ran it around the test track for about half an hour in each direction, just on DC. And then uh, I pulled her apart and uh, went to put the DCC socket in and came across an issue. So we'll just go and have a look at uh, what actually happened. So the first step in the instructions in removing the body so we can fit our DCC decoder is to undo the four screws at the bottom. That's okay, so I did that. Now the next step talks about lifting the body off of the uh, chassis, if you like, off where the motor sits. So that just lifts off and separates. And this is where I had my issue. So you'll notice on the diagram that this is all one piece. And that's the motor part. So now if we look at uh, what I've got in front of me here, I've got three pieces and not two. So what's happened in my case when I've pulled it apart? These two pieces here have come apart. So I think this is supposed to be glued down to this part here. And if we look at underneath, the two screws in the front will hold screw into the body part, but at the back, the screws don't screw into the body. They actually screw into this plastic part here, to that bit there. And you can see on this part, might not be able to pick it up on camera, but you can see sort of the remnants of glue or something at the back there. If I get it in focus. You might be able to see that where it's been glued down a couple of spots. So when you're lifting this off, so it'd be normally like this. So when you're lifting this off, I suggest rather than pulling by this part is you try and grab it underneath here. If, if it's not coming out easily, mine was a bit hard to come out. So, so once I gave this a bit of a, a target, uh, just uh, came off. But that's fine. A little bit of super glue will fix that. We'll glue that back on to where it should be. And then that'll all be good to go. So another thing to note is that the front two screws over here, you can see one there in the front, one at the back, they don't come all the way out because on the other side, hopefully, I don't know whether we'll be able to see this, but on this side, there's actually a couple little pieces there that stop the screw coming right out. You can barely get your screwdriver in there, but you can see there that there's um, the screw and uh, I'll just point it out a bit better. So you can see the screw there, and then there's this little piece here that stops this screw coming out. So they won't come right out, so don't try and get those all the way out. That's on my model anyway. So that's one thing. And the other thing I did as well, I want to mention here, is that underneath the decoder here, so I've plugged the decoder in, underneath you can see that bit of tape I've put underneath just to insulate it from the motor just in case this should press down and touch on the top of that motor so I've done that so one more thing is now that I've glued these two pieces back together is uh, be wary of all these little bits that hang off because they're pretty fragile and they can break off don't ask me how I know that but I know it too well so you've got to be very gentle with these very very fragile little locos so there it is all back together all glued up so uh, we'll uh, give it a little test now and uh, see how she runs so we'll just give it a little bit of a run over the points and see how it goes
and we'll make it come back. Try a little bit slower and see how it goes. So there you have it, the uh, Grand Farish Class 03, the new one with a DCC 6-pin socket in it. Now I did use the recommended decoder, I probably mentioned that earlier before, the uh, Barkman one that has the F2 braking function as well, all fits in there very nicely. So thanks for watching once again, this is John at Wimble Train saying see you later.